Hey, welcome back folks. Today's video is particularly for second baseman. It does involve the shortstop a little bit and it answers the question, who covers second base on a steal? It's a lot more complicated than you may have thought. I'll explain when we come back. Welcome back everybody. I'm coach Bob McCreary from Baseball by the Yard. Com. Today's video is for second baseman and shortstop and explains who covers second base on a steal. Now, at the introductory levels of the game in most use baseball, it's pretty clear cut. Okay, If there's a right-handed batter up, it's typically going to be my responsibility to get to second base. If there's a left-handed batter up, then typically the shortstop is going to cover second base. But as you get older, nuances of the game start to develop and it becomes a lot more complicated. Okay, now let's focus on second base for a second. Everybody knows if you ever played second base, one of my other responsibilities is if any time that batter squares to bunt, my job is to hustle to first base because the first baseman is probably going to be charging on that bunt. So if the guy squares the bunt, I cover first base. If the guy steals a right-handed batter, my job is to go to second base. Now here's the dilemma. What happens if the batter squares to bunt and the runner steals. Where do I go? All right, I can't be in two places at once. So that's where players have to think on the fly. As you get older, the game gets faster and players have to know what to do without being told by the coach. So this may be a situation where a right-hander's up, I'm playing double play depth, runner on first base, and before the pitch or before the batter, I we work on some sort of communication. And so let's say in this case, I tell the shortstop that I am gonna be covering second base on a steal. Well, if at any time I see that batter square around to bunt, all bets are off. It doesn't matter what we talked about prior. In that particular case, if that batter squares to bunt, I go to first base and the shortstop covers second base if the guy should steal. It's automatic. It doesn't matter if I said I'm covering second base. That guy squares the bunt, all bets are off. I get first base, the shortstop covers second base. Now, another example of where you will see this happen is runner on first base and the batter doesn't square the bunt, but you, let's say, have a left-handed pitcher on the mound and he does a very good pickoff move to first base and the runner breaks to second and goes first move. He's stealing, he gets picked off, but he breaks immediately towards second base. Now, if I'm a second baseman, one of my responsibilities on a pickoff throw to first base is to move in this vicinity in case the ball gets past the first baseman. Now, of course, I'm never gonna get back there in time to back up, but at least I'm moving in that area so that the ball ricochets off the first baseman and goes over here, I'm more towards that area where I can be helpful. I may not prevent the runner from getting to second base, but me breaking to back up and possibly get a bad throw, hopefully can prevent that runner from going all the way to third base. So that's another situation where if the pitcher throws a pick off to first base as a second baseman, I break towards that area to back up if needed, and therefore the shortstop now has to cover second base if that guy breaks on the pickoff move. So you have to inform your middle position players, shortstops and second baseman. They need to know who's covering, but they also have to know those nuances of, hey, there are always gonna be situations where you have to switch that up on the fly and you're not gonna have time to figure it out when the situation occurs. You have to know this beforehand. Hey folks, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, do me a favor and share this with three people. Share it with someone that you know is going to like it. Share it with a second person that you know that needs to hear it. And a third person that you think, hey, maybe they are not going to like it. Share it with them anyway. One of the problems in baseball is kids are not learning these little things about the game and baseball IQ has never been at the lows that it is now. So please help me share these videos to improve the knowledge of baseball, particularly among the young levels, and raise that baseball IQ. I'm Coach McCreary from BaseballByTheYard.com. Go to that website for all tips in all areas of the game. I appreciate your time. Take care, everybody, and I am out.